Hello, everybody. Welcome into Hair to Be. I'm so glad that we open up this space of interaction with our guests. And we will talk about uh, different topics related to human being and nature. So today we are here. We are so glad to have um, here Dr. Michele Lusco, who is a postdoctoral researcher, ologist, uh, at the University of Bologna in Italy. Welcome, Michele. Thank you very much to, to be here with us. Hi, Daniela. Thank you very much for the presentation. Um, yes, I'm an ecologist, and what we have in common is uh, the question of uh, about orchids. And uh, yes, let's start. Let's start our interview because today, actually, we are here for talking about uh, your new book, uh, which is on uh, orchids, native orchids of your uh, um, original uh, city, which is Cagliari. And uh, Michele, yeah. just um, let me know what are you doing right now? What are you doing uh, currently? And uh, how and mm, how ended you up uh, with uh, new, the new book? Uh, so the story, the origin of your uh, new book, please tell me about that. Okay, thank you very much for the interesting question. Um, okay, I'm from Sardinia and uh, uh, my own town is called Cagliari. Sardinia is an island in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea, and uh, which is a hot spot of biodiversity. It means that uh, in this area, the, the city's richness is uh, um, um, rich at a very high level. And uh, um, I started uh, uh, with orchids when I was uh, a little kid because uh, I found this weird, strange plant in the park uh, um, of my hometown. And uh, yeah, they, I was quite familiar with these uh, flowers. Uh, at the beginning, I thought they were just flowers. And uh, um, yeah, and I found them very interesting. And when I grew up, I realized that they, that biodiversity was unusual uh, because I was uh, um, on an island first, and the pattern of uh, speciation and uh, species richness are quite different. And I was surprised because I was surprised because uh, I was also in a city, which is a very big one. And um, yeah, then um, I, I tried to investigate these uh, uh, theses. And yes, uh, um, when. Okay, yeah, orchids, it's so fascinating uh, because uh, actually, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, nobody, not many people know and that uh, orchids can grow up uh, into into um, cities uh, so and uh, Cagliari is one of the cities uh, where orchids uh, naturally grow actually there are other cities uh, for example Perth uh, where I actually conducted my studies during my PhD actually is the same so there are so many species of orchids uh, into the city so it's uh, yes. something that is not really known but actually it happens Yes, when we pronounce the, the word orchid, we immediately associate that plant with the tropical um, landscape, uh, exotic field, forest. Uh, it's true because the vast majority of orchids grow in tropical forests. Yes. But uh, orchids, as you know, are everywhere everywhere and yeah in the absolutely everywhere even in the city i um i have the fortune to grow up in a very old city in a multi-million uh, millennial city which is uh, uh, interesting this relationship i started to be fascinated by how long this relationship lasts i mean uh, orchids um have specific relationship with pollinators 
and the fungi for the seed germination. It means that they can be used as bioindicators bio for um, landscape health uh, because of yeah. those That's strong true. relationships. Yeah, because they have a complex it, relationship with uh, many life forms. Uh, and just when you study yeah. our kids, actually you can get uh, a lot of information of uh, the entire ecosystem. That's true. Yes, orchids are quite famous. Uh, are in, can be used to um, focus the, the mainstream attention to this kind of problem. But as I, as we know, there are not only orchids. Uh, there are also the pollinators, uh, small um, bees. They deserve to be protected. As all sure. So, so your book, in some way, is um, is for people that not necessarily are specialized in uh, orchids, uh, are botanists or uh, people like that, but actually people that would like to discover this world of uh, orchids, know about mo know more about uh, this uh, wonderful uh, species, the uh, plant. Uh, and also discover that uh, they can be found uh, closer to us, sometimes uh, just uh, close to our home, our town. And uh, so your book actually highlights these aspects uh, that are actually uh, more closer than, than what uh, we, uh, we think. Uh, and everybody can, uh, uh, can actually look at these species, uh, go, into it, <laughs> exploring um, the, the habitat, the site, the, where they grow, and uh, be aware of uh, the, uh, what, what they like, uh, the environment they like, uh, where they can be found, uh, particularly in your city, but also as uh, yeah. your species are, the species that, that are present uh, in uh, Sardinia, uh, in your region, uh, in your hometown, actually, the same genus uh, are present in uh, some, some other parts of uh, the Mediterranean basin uh, and Europe as well. So they uh, can be found in other uh, in other sites uh, in other countries, and uh, not the same maybe the same species that are endemic and that yeah. and are exclusive to your uh, town or or your region, but uh, the same uh, the species that belong. Um, to the same genus, for example. So yeah. actually, um, your book uh, is um, for all the people that uh, would like uh, to immerse uh, themselves uh, into something uh, um, very precious that uh, we have uh, just uh, maybe nearby, in our, uh, nearby to our uh, town, uh, to our region and uh, discover more about uh, the eco ecology because you give uh, your book. I, I read your book <laughs> and uh, I found uh, it uh, so well, really well um, presented in terms of uh, contents. Uh, it's very rich of contents, uh, information, uh, technical information, but also something very practical uh, to understand, for, for example, where they grow and where to find them. And also, uh, I have to say that uh, the book uh, is uh, is a full of uh, colors. <laughs> uh, is a um, is a very um, is rich of uh, beautiful uh, photos, and so it's really really appealing, uh, visually appealing. Yeah, mm -hmm. thank you very much for yes, Daniela. Thank you very much for the words. Um, uh, I I have to say. I have to thank my collaborator, the other co-author, Matteo uh, Paolo, who, uh, who gave me some, it is, we are very close friends, and uh, um, that, 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 that's quite important, because we developed, this, we lived in the same city, and we developed the same idea. He is a, a freelance photographer, and he is, the picture and their photos are amazing. Not because uh, I is my friend, because they are really uh, like that. And 
he helped me so much. We supported each other in writing the books uh, because uh, it's not quite, it's not very easy for us to um, uh, try to give information to, to someone who is in, in your uh, field. So I try to develop the book in order to focus the attention on the orchid of my city, of course, but also on orchid, urban orchids in general. And of course, uh, which as we said earlier, they are not very investigated scientifically. They deserve more um, attention. And uh, yes, I think that we, we we have done a, a, a very good job and it, it, it's a, basically we develop all the, the all the ideas just between us two um, so we, we don't have any uh, publisher anyone because we wanted that this kind of book um, could reflect and actually reflect our personalities and our approach and even our stories because uh, as, as I said uh, we started uh, approaching the biodiversity in general in the field uh, but very close to our houses in the urban uh, parks and I think that the, 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 work is, the book is a good work yeah it's fine. Yeah, it's we are a, very it's a very uh, yeah, it's a beautiful work, uh, of course. Uh, it's a very uh, it's a very perfect approach uh, in this kind of uh, communication. Uh, but um, I think that is a very good job. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. Uh, where we can find your book? So if I we want to buy it, uh, where we can find it? Okay, the book is available on Amazon, actually just uh, um, on an ebook. We developed this format because uh, um, I wanted to be that the book uh, um, is available everywhere in the world without uh, the, the cartaceous form. And um, yes, yeah, so we found this format quite useful, even because as uh, we share the same life style. I mean, we travel so much, and it's kind of hard everywhere we, every time we change city, take your book with you. They're very expensive, not yeah. in terms of price, but in terms of expedition and. Uh, like so I think that. that the book is quite easy. The, the price is very uh, limited, and um, it's uh, so it's available everywhere in the world. In the, the world, so it's in very... English. Uh, we we yes, there are two is versions. in English and also in Italian because last uh, week we did a presentation in Italian because uh, there is also a version in Italian for a, everyone that. Uh, would like to yes. to read it in the yes. original language, um, and uh, yes, because uh, yes, because uh, um, when I I I developed the idea, I contacted several friends, colleagues everywhere in the world, uh, orchid lover, scientists, uh, orchid enthusiasts, and. Um, they were quite interesting in uh, um, in, uh, in, the in the topic. In, yeah. Yes, and they were. They said, "Okay, let me have a copy when it's ready." But unfortunately, I can go into the detail because I don't speak Italian uh, so well. So I said, "Okay, it's fine. Let's translate because uh, let's translate. Uh, yeah. it can be available for everyone everywhere." Yeah, yeah, of course, because of actually the concept, like we said, uh, is universal. Urban uh, orchids uh, is something that uh, is uh, yeah, over the world. And uh, so that's a great yeah. idea to have an English version. And have you got any projects uh, to any plan to disseminate 
uh, the book uh, through presentations or something uh, maybe that you can update uh, us? Uh, and... Yes, actually with uh, Matteo we are scheduled some interviews, some uh, um, uh, something like that, but uh, yeah, let's keep up date because the record is not over yet, so of it's course, just the but... beginning. Okay, that's uh, that's wonderful. I remain, of course, uh, like I said last week, uh, I would love to receive uh, a cartaceous copy if uh, feasible. So thank you very much, uh, Michele, for um, for this wonderful chat uh, for uh, about uh, a fascinating topic uh, uh, of orchids and uh, urban ecology as well, and. Uh, uh, for sharing your um, your last uh, your recent news about your book. Thank, Thank you very, very much. much. Me. See you soon. <laughs> yes. Bye. See you. <laughs> Bye.